this beautiful chair was shipped in that tiny little box. I like it. What's up guys? Welcome to my living room. I don't know about you, but I've spent the last, uh, I don't know, four months. I've gone to City Furniture, Ashley's Furniture, everything with the furniture in the name. And I never really found anything that I liked or that I really wanted. Now, what today's video is going to ultimately about is the unboxing and the building of a knockdown piece of furniture, which is really weird, a knockdown couch. But IKEA, I guess, does it, so why can't everybody else? This company, Home Reserve, threw one of their targeted ads and I popped onto it on Facebook. The couch looked kind of cool. I didn't realize it was a knockdown sofa, but I clicked on the ad and the ad said that you can get a worry-free trial. It's not really free, it's worry-free, as in there's nothing to worry about, but it's definitely not free because I paid $300 for this sideless armchair. But that's worth it to me if the couch works out. So we're gonna build this chair, or I'm gonna build this chair, and then I'm gonna let my family test it out, my wife, the kids, etc. see how it holds up for a couple weeks, and if we like it, we'll keep it, and I'll order the rest of the pieces. For right now, let me show you what we have in the living room that we're gonna be replacing. It's not very comfortable. The, the cushions are not very thick when you sit on them, you know, maybe if you're very light, but for me and pretty much everyone else that's over, I don't know, 150 pounds, you can really get the wood right up in you all around the outside of these things. They're just not very comfortable. They, both of these sofas fold down into beds and the backs click forward. So you can fold that down and lay the back up and it becomes a headrest so it's comfortable to watch TV, which is fantastic for the two people there. For the people here, it doesn't work because you'd be facing this way. So it's short, only really the kids can lay there and you know how that really doesn't work out because if mommy and daddy are on that couch, nobody's on this couch, the kids are on that couch. But the idea is we wanna be able to sit here all facing that direction and enjoy the TV for a few hours, watching a good movie or cartoons with the kids, marathon TV show, whatever. On a side note in another video, this fireplace and television is going to be moving out of this room and going into another room and I'm going to build a floor to ceiling wall unit that is going to house a larger TV and all of the media equipment, which is really just a Cody uh, media center on a Raspberry Pi that runs all of our movies, etc., that we control from here with our cell phones. So with all that being said, join me in unboxing the Home Reserve no arm side chair. I'm gonna put it together and let's put it through its paces and see if it's worth its salt. The one thing I did see that was a negative about this was the fact that when you take it out, and it's not necessarily a negative, it's wood. So when you unbox wood and you take it out of the bag, there's gonna be some wood particles, shaving, et cetera, that are gonna get onto the floor around it. So that's why we're not doing it over there in front of the TV on the carpet. We're doing it over here so I can easily sweep or vacuum. You're definitely gonna to wanna to be careful cutting because you don't wanna go through the box because there is fabric very close to the surface. This does not look like it's got a ton of padding. So let's just be careful while we're undoing this. All right, we've got our fabric. We've got our top and bottom cushions that are vacuum packed. So once we Cut those open, they should expand. And we've got our wood. Some people may not like knockdown furniture, may feel it's cheap or whatever. And to be honest with you, it is. It is cheap because you're going to be building it instead of it being built and delivered to you. But in my eyes, it's a badass feat of engineering and I think it's super cool and I love putting stuff together. So if the chair turns out good looking and comfortable, we could have ourselves a sofa, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me separate the wood and let's get this thing together. This was one of the reasons why I was interested in it. The company's been around for quite some time. If I looked online, I believe it's been in business for over 15 years. So a 10 year warranty may actually mean something. Not like today where you have a company show up that's been in business one year and then they give you a 50 year warranty. Well, if you've only been in business a year, who's to say you're gonna be around in 20 years when the item actually breaks? This, which I looked deep into, 
The one year frame warranty, if your kids jump on it, snap one of these pieces or whatever, they will ship you out another piece and you just disassemble that portion, put it back together and you're good to go. Now, this is what we're going for. Okay, as you can see, number three and number four is nicely aligned. Number one and number two is about a millimeter off right here in the corner and right here in this corner. Welcome to my garage. If you guys are into lowriders, old school Chevy trucks, things of that nature, check out my other playlist because that's what this is. Shaved handles, custom suspension, custom paint job. We're working on practicing mur murals. I've never painted a mural before, but one of them is gonna go on this tailgate. My daughter would like to see a galaxy theme, so a galaxy theme she will have. I wanted you to see the whole process of what I had to do to get this uh, couch to work or this uh, single seat to work. So let's get you in the tripod and let's get this to fit. We're gonna take a Dremel with a sanding wheel. I'm just gonna round this out a tiny bit so I can get these two to stick together. So we are about a millimeter off in two spots. So I'm just gonna take that down a tiny bit. We're gonna take this part down a little. All right. As you can see, piece one and two now fit together. Let's clean this off and get it back in the house and keep assembling. All right, we're back in the house. I'm a little hot and sweaty, but the piece fits together and that's what counts. So we have three and four and one and two now assembled. Let's put these up here like so. And let's move on to the next step. This sandpaper will do okay for getting rid of a splinter or a scuff, but it sure as heck is not going to take down what I just did with the Dremel tool. So. That's one strike against these guys. Hopefully there's not too many more. See if we can balance it with these pieces and then I'll get some screws in there. Okay, not bad. All right, secure with two screws. We can do that. Now there are holes where I'm screwing through the board so there's no chance of splitting in it. Every single hole on here is pre-drilled that these are going to go through. And there's four holes here and those are going to go into these. So we'll slide this right into here. It can only go one direction because only the bottom is notched. these locked together. Number 10 goes into these two slots right here. I think. Now, this is one thing I don't like, but it's really just a mistake or laziness. When you update a set of directions and you show a handle inside something, like so, the piece should match said direction. As you'll see, this is a notch, and in the directions, it shows a handle, both pieces. So they really should update these. So this just sits into this little track here, 
Padding side up, notch to notch. This is our little springy padding. And in addition, this is actually piece number 12. Let's see here. But it does not have a number 12 cut into it. So that's another mistake. There should be a number 12 cut into it. Just like you see here in the instructions. There's a number 12 right there. And as you can see, this wasn't cut. And as you can hear, my little munchkins just got home. So once this is together, they're going to be able to beat up on it a little bit. Hey, little gorgeous. So I've already checked to make sure we have the seat cushion. You want to say hi, Maya? Look up in there. Hi. That's my little one. You want to say hi to? No. The big one's camera shy. For those of you who already watched the truck videos, you would know that. So. We've got our back cushion cover, our seat cushion cover, our frame back cover, our frame front cover. Well, my brother's a bit shy. Well, <laughs> and all of the top rail and back cushion, etc. So well, let's get these fabrics and foam pieces assembled onto the chair now so it's actually testable. Give me one second. Number nine goes upside down and slips into these two tabs. And that completes the wood. Into So all in all, if I wasn't shooting a video and dictating each step along the way, this would probably take a total of maybe 15 minutes to put together. You are not talking about a lot of time. This goes together quite quickly. So this top rail foam gets pushed into here. Okay. This number 13 piece is going to tuck right into here. Like this. We'll pull it nice and tight and fold it underneath. There we go. And now we've got a perfectly straight front piece. Now another thing that I think is cool about this is you have a pocket underneath each one of these sofa seats for pictures, tchotchkes, whatever. That's kind of cool too. So hopefully this will turn out a nice piece of furniture. That way we can keep it. So there. Nice and smooth, tucked around the corners, on the top and the bottom. So we're gonna start and pull it through. That way we can seat it on top. The longer portion obviously is gonna go down in the back. Now you wanna get your corners straight up here before you pull it all the way through. That way the fabric doesn't look all bunched up when you get to the bottom. There we go. Time. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to finish off the back. Back same as the front. We need to tuck it underneath, and that's going to be easiest to do if this is sitting on the floor. Give it a good pull. Now we're nice and tight here across the back. This should be nice and flat all the way down on all the sides. It'll probably take more time to do the fabric than it does to put the chair together. But that's due to trial and error because I'm not a seamstress. All right, seat covers next. That's going to be our foam. Somewhere inside your cover, you're going to find a zipper like so. So we're going to just slide that back. That way we can get this thing open. So this whole thing here can actually just do that because you're going to zip it back together anyways. 
So as instructed, we're going to start with the round side, which just has the rounded corners. You find the rounded side of your seat. That's the opposite side of the open zipper flap. You can see that that's square. And we're going to tuck this inside out. Well, it's nice and tight around the edge here. Once you have one side all the way in, you just work on the other one. goal is to get it to look like let's get this zipped up and on the chair well that's quite an efficient way to do it definitely far from complex. We've got a nice pillow. Let's get these little bits of uh, wood shavings off of here. So this is why you definitely don't want to do this on carpet because these little bits of wood will get stuck in your carpet. You're not wanting that. Splinters for days. All right. Huh. Let's put this right here. Move on to our next piece. Here is our rear cushion. It says to, uh, let's see here, put it in the bag and then fluff it up. And I'm not kidding about this. By beating the crap out of it. So take it and beat something with it. I guess if you have two, you can have like a massive pillow fight. See that right there? Hitting the floor. So that means you can just like each grab a pillow on the couch and smack the heck out of each other. Let's get that done. I only have one, so. Invisible Smackdown. Once again, it comes completely zipped. So you're just gonna pull the zipper back with your fingernail and then pop the rest open. And then when you flip it inside out, your zipper will be correct. So your lines are horizontal. In case you can't see that, the lines are gonna be horizontal when we're bagging it. ourselves a chair. Okay, so after going over the chair, I only had one little thread right there. That was it. Other than that, everything fit together nicely. Now, I do not have the side panels for this because it is not going to be a standalone chair. It's actually going to be part of a U-shaped sofa that's going to replace this whole thing here with some ottomans. All right, this is what we're left with. We've got the bolts. If we had multiple chairs they would go through here and they would all tie together so each chair is tied to the next with these bolts here came with one extra screw some gloves which i did not use sandpaper which is completely worthless but we've got our own unimportant the most important thing the 10-year frame warranty now let's check this thing for comfort okay for perspective i'm six feet tall 210 pounds the chair is quite comfortable no creaking or cracking. The back is way more comfortable than these. So, I think we have ourselves a sofa. I love it. Maya, 
Say hello. Well, my dad's chair is beautiful, and I love its red color. Okay, so in the end, these chairs are pretty fantastic. The only problem that I found is when you pull the pillows off, because everybody is going to want to see what the inside of a couch that was built in your living room looks like. So, the inside of this couch looks like crap. What I'm gonna do to rectify that, for those of you who are coming over here from my truck page, or actually my truck playlist, I'm pretty sure you have a good idea where we're going with this. I'm gonna sand down, maybe add some Bondo to the top of here, get it all sanded smooth and get a nice shiny black paint job on this thing. I think that'll look pretty cool when you pick up the pillows. This will be all shined out, black and pretty. Once we lift this piece up here, this is where you're supposed to use as storage. Now, it's pretty ugly, but because of the fact that this chair was built in my living room, people are going to want to see it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take toolbox liner and I'm gonna line the inside of this with a nice soft fabric. I think that'll finish it off fantastic. It'll have a black fabric on the inside and it'll have a shiny black top. So it'll be kind of like the inside of my truck. If you haven't seen those, take a look. I'll leave the link somewhere in here if that's your thing. Once these chairs have been upgraded, I think they're going to check all of the boxes. For right now, the only issue that I have is when you take the pillows off, they're not the prettiest thing. And the inside of that uh, storage compartment can give you a splinter. But we're gonna fix that. Do this one, I'm gonna show it to you. And then when the other ones get here, we'll go through that. I think we have ourselves a sofa. I'll let you guys know when the rest arrives. I'll build it all up. We'll do that on camera as well. Do a little time lapse of me putting the room together. Then we can start that next video, which is going to be the wall, which is behind you guys right now. Get a bigger TV up there, get some speakers in the ceiling, and turn this into a little movie theater. Because I actually had to get rid of my movie theater when I converted another room into an office up front of the house. So we'll go over that at a later date. But for now, we're focused on these couches. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, home, automotive, DIY, etc., do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can see my latest shenanigans. Take a look at my playlist so you can see my lowriders and trucks and things like that that I'm working on. We're going to be doing custom suspension. I've already done the entire interior. It's coming out pretty nice. And I'll see you in the next video.